Pitbull Mastiff Mix, Complete Guide to This Powerful Mastiff Mix The Pitbull Mastiff Mix is exactly what the name suggests, this is a hybrid dog between an American Pitbull Terrier and a Mastiff. People can be biased when it comes to Pitbulls and Mastiffs, because of their size and history, however, their bad reputation for aggression is untrue and is often blown out of proportion. This mixed bred dog can be a soft, lovable and friendly boy who thrives on your love and will become devoted to you. They are on the large side, being classified as a giant breed, but, this won't stop them from trying to be a lap dog to get a cheeky cuddle on the couch. This mix is very time consuming and will need a lot of commitment from their parent, so it's best to find out more about them to see if they're right for you. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. What is a Pitbull Mastiff Mix? Overview The Pitbull Mastiff Mix can be a cross between any Pitbull and Mastiff breeds, as there are quite few, but, the most popular breeds used is the American Pitbull Terrier and the Neapolitan Mastiff. However, an American Staffordshire Terrier and Bull Mastiff can be used for this mix too. Historically, both breeds were used in blood sports like bear baiting before it was outlawed, pit bulls and mastiffs were bred to be powerful and aggressive, but, today they are friendly, loyal and the perfect companions. Pit bulls more recently have been used for scent work and have also become a popular companion breed, having historically been known as nanny dogs. Mastiffs were very popular in England as guard dogs, but, became very rare after the world wars, now their population has been rebuilt thanks to US breeders providing mastiffs to breed with. As this is a crossbred dog, it is not recognized by the American Kennel Club, however, one of their parent breeds, the Mastiff, is recognized by the Kennel Club. Pitbull Mastiff Mix Appearance As a crossbreed, this powerful and strong dog can vary in appearance, depending on their parents' genes. It can also depend on which breed of Pitbull the puppy's parent is, it could be an American Staffordshire Terrier or Pitbull Terrier. Whatever specific parent genes your puppy will inherit, they will be giant-sized breed with well-defined muscular body. They have stocky builds and broad heads, they may have a somewhat squared nose, like the Mastiff. It can also inherit the Mastiff's wrinkles around their head, eyes and muzzle. Height and weight. These cross breeds can become very large, this is thanks to the Mastiff parents' genes. As males a fully grown Mastiff can grow up to 230 pounds compared to the 60 pounds of the pit bulls. Weight of a mixed breed puppy is heavily dependent upon their parents' size. A fully grown Pitbull Mastiff mix can grow to be fully mature at between 18 to 24 months weighing between 100 to 140 pounds. There is no way to be sure on how big this breed will grow, but, they tend to be on the giant size with males tend to be larger than females. Coat Color A Mastiff Pitbull mix color will be either, brown, black, white, red or brindle. Their coat may be bi, for example brindle, tri-colored, or it could be a solid color. Some of these mixes also have markings on their face, like a pit bull has, going from the nose up in between their eyes. They can also have the markings that mastiffs have where they have a black mask on their face, chest markings and feet markings. Coat. Even though cross breeds can be unpredictable with appearance and temperament, you can be very certain that your pit bull mastiff mix's coat will be short and fine, as both parent breeds have similar coat types. This short coat is easy to maintain. Occasional brushing will keep your pooch looking his best, aim for once or twice a week, mastiffs are notorious for their low grooming requirements. Brushing promotes a healthy coat by distributing natural oils. Don't bath them too often, as this can wash away those oils, but it's best to wash when they start producing that doggy odor. Pitbull Mastiff Mix Personality and Temperament Like with your dog's appearance, as this breed is a hybrid, there is no way to predict how they will behave, but, we can look at each parent breed to get a better idea about their temperament. A Pitbull Mastiff mix is like every Pitbull and Mastiff loyal. They are affectionate companions, who are sweet-natured and friendly. They make the best companion dogs thanks to their sweet and loving nature. Both parent breeds are very affectionate and loyal, so it's no surprise this mix will be as well. They will form very strong bonds with you and your family. However, these strong bonds can mean that this cross-breed can be prone to suffering from separation anxiety. For this reason, it's probably best to make sure you don't leave your dog alone for too long, more than 3 hours at a time, as they will become destructive and start chewing anything they can get their paws on. Both pit bulls and mastiffs were used as family home guard dogs, therefore, their crossbreed will be a good watchdog. 
Because of this, the pit bull mastiff mix will be very protective over their family and do not warm up to strangers quickly. They can often be aloof to household guests. Because of their strong guard dog temperament you can feel safe with this dog in your house. Pit bull dogs are known for not being friendly to unfamiliar dogs. For this reason, you should ensure you introduce your pit bull mastiff mix puppy into a home with no other pets. You should also socialize your puppy early by exposing them to lots of different dogs. Is a pit bull mastiff mix a good family dog? This breed is undoubtedly loyal and loving, however, they may be too big for small children to be around. If socialized and trained correctly, they would never purposely hurt a human, however, because of their size accidents can happen. For this reasons, this cross breed is best suited with families with older children. Make sure you teach your kids basic dog body language, and let them know when to give dogs some space. Always supervise your kids with these big dogs. He will love the affection a big family can give them. How to train a Mastiff Pitbull Mix Pitbull Mastiffs are intelligent, but, a Mastiff is known for being strong-willed. They can be stubborn at times, so it is best to have patience during training sessions and keep them fun and consistent. This mix will have a strong and dominant personality. Because of this they need a confident trainer. Always use positive reinforcement when training your dog. It leads to the best results and doesn't cause problematic behavioral problems that coercive or aggressive techniques do. Avoid using punishment, as this leads to behavioral problems. Give your giant dog a giant reward when they follow your command, give them a treat or some praise. It is best to start training as soon as you bring your dog home, as they can grow fast and it's best to train them when they are still a manageable size. The pit bull mastiff mix will be friendly, but, socialization is very important for when they're adults. They will need to be exposed to a range other people, children and dogs as a puppy. You want to expose them to as many dogs as possible when they are small, as the pit bull genes can cause them to be aggressive towards dogs, so you want to make sure they know how to socialize with dogs correctly and in a safe way. Keep training sessions fun and short, this hybrid can get bored and destructive pretty quickly. To prevent them chewing your furniture, give them sturdy toys that won't break easily under their powerful jaws. You can try puzzle feeders to test their intelligence. Training a dog needs to be fun for the dog, in fact, play has been proven to improve a dog's memory and relive stress. Caring for a pit bull mastiff mix. This cross breed should not be taken on lightly, he is large, full of energy and doesn't like to be alone. They are not suited to apartments, due to their large size and need to run around. This dog needs an active family, who can spend time with him, and has experience of giant breed training, ownership. Exercise Requirements Pit bulls are a very energetic and tenacious dog, however, the Mastiff is not. The best rule of thumb is you will know when they want to go for a walk as they may become destructive. These dogs will need around one hour of exercise each day to keep them healthy and mentally stimulated. Most Mastiffs are well known for letting their owners know when they are tired on walks by plonking themselves down and not getting back up. It is probably best to walk a pit bull Mastiff mix on a leash, as they can become unpredictable when around unfamiliar dogs. Because of their giant breed classification, you need to make sure you don't overexercise your puppy during their growth phase, this is true until they mature. They can suffer from gastric torsion, so it is best to avoid exercise immediately after they have eaten and make sure they don't eat too fast. Grooming and Shedding Thankfully, despite their high training and exercise requirements, grooming will be low maintenance. They won't shed too much, so you don't have to worry about that. Occasional brushing to promote natural oils for their coat is more than other. Bathing is only really needed when they start smelling of doggy odor. This mix may inherit the Mastiff's wrinkles on their face, which will need regular inspection and cleaning. They may also inherit the Mastiff's drooling, so it's best to keep wipes at hand. You should be regularly trim their nails, you can do this yourself, or take them to the local groomers, where they are more prepared for larger dogs. Make sure you keep their ears clean of wax and debris to prevent ear infections and brush their teeth regularly or give them a dental stick alternative. Feeding and Diet Dogs need a balanced diet to be healthy, just like people, this is especially true for giant breed dogs because of their specific calcium and protein requirements. Proteins are essential to a dog's diet, this provides them with amino acids they cannot produce themselves. Dogs also need dietary fats to give them energy. They also need a variety of minerals and vitamins to stay healthy. How much you feed your dog is dependent on their forecasted adult weight. A pit bull mastiff mix is a big dog, so they will need more food than the average dog, around 4.5 cups of kibble for 100 pounds. You can spread this over 2-3 to three meals a day for a mature dog and always ask your vet if you have any doubts. 
Deciding on what to feed your dog is a personal choice, whether it is dry food, canned or raw, it is best to make sure you are giving him the highest quality ingredients and avoid filler ingredients such as corn syrup, as this is high in carbs and can be harmful. Known Health Problems As a crossbreed, they are generally healthier than pure breeds, as there is more genetic diversity, decreasing risks of predispositions of disease. However, this mix can still inherit health issues from their parents, some of which can include Hip dysplasia can develop in large dogs, affecting their joints and causing pain. They can suffer from gastric torsion, causing bloat. Kidney disease preventing toxins being filtered from the blood. Obesity is also a common problem, caused by overeating and a lack of exercise. How long do Pitbull Mastiff mixes live? They will live for around 8 to 10 years providing they are given the right exercise, diet and love. Buyer's Guide So, you think the Pitbull Mastiff mix is the dog for you? The next step is finding a reputable breeder. This will be more difficult because of their hybrid nature. When you see a puppy you like, contact the breeder to ask to see them with mom in the litter. If they don't let you see her, chances are they are not trustworthy. Seeing mom is important because mom's maternal care towards the puppy can affect a puppy's behavior. Low levels of maternal care can cause the puppy to develop unwanted behaviors, you want to make sure this puppy was cared for by mom. When you meet with the breeder, ask them questions like, what are you feeding the puppies? What kind of socialization have they been exposed to? How many litters has mom had? A trustworthy breeder will ask you questions as well, making sure you are suitable for their puppies. They will also provide health certificates for mom, specifically hip and elbow scores, and will let you know if the puppy's vaccinations are up to date. As this is such a large dog, the breeder should take part in genetic screening to prevent hip dysplasia genes being passed on from parents to puppy. Puppy should be at least 8 weeks old to leave mom and come home with you. How much do Pitbull Mastiff mixes cost? These cross breeds can cost from the $350 to $2,000 US dollars. The more expensive puppies should be from breeders who have a pedigree purebred parent, i.e. Mastiff, with full health screens. Quick Breed Summary Breed Characteristics Size, 25 to 30 inches tall. Weight, 100 to 140 pounds. Lifespan, 8 to 12 years. Coat, short and firm. Color, brown, black, white, red or brindle. Do they shed, low. Temperament, loyal, friendly, sweet-natured. Intelligence, highly intelligent. Socialization, not dog or pet friendly. Destructive behavior, will chew when bored. People skills, weary of strangers. Good with children, great with children, best with older children. Activity levels, activity needs can vary, but will need around one hour of exercise a day. Summary This large crossbreed is best suited for active families with older children. The Pitbull Mastiff mix will prefer a big house with a backyard. Sweet-natured and protective of their family, they do not like unfamiliar dogs and other pets and have been known to be dominant and strong-willed. They have a lot of energy and will need a lot of exercise each day. Be prepared for this, as they can get destructive and boisterous when they haven't been active for a while. This crossbreed won't be too difficult to groom, only occasional brushing is needed for their short coats. Don't be put off by the pit bull's bad reputation, because, with the right socialization, this mix is one of the friendliest dogs. Have any questions? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description.